Previously on Hardland. Dad, are you okay? Strained a few ligaments. No tears this time. There are very few girls that I feel like I can be myself around. We're pals, you know? Really good friends. Your dad is Charlie Long. Your demo. Uh, I could give it to him for you. Really? Well, Lou and I are thinking about building our own place. A new baby, a huge do-it-yourself project, a wife with extremely high expectations. What could possibly go wrong? As your honorary grandma, I would be proud to pay for your education. There's no point socking it all away. Well, are you sure you don't mind coming all the way out here? It's a bit of a drive. Honey, let's take a look at this. OK. All right, well, I can't wait to catch up with you. All right. Yes. Uh, so, what do you like better? Kitchen, separate dining room, or more of an open concept? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. You know, it's it's kind of it's hard to visualize. Right. It might be a little easier to visualize if you weren't on the phone all the time. Oops. I'm sorry. An old friend from New York called. He's in town for a few days, so we set up a lunch date. Lunch date? Mm -hmm. Should I be jealous? Only of his exceptional taste in clothes and his collection of rare orchids. Anyway, do you mind if I disappear for a few hours this afternoon? On one condition. What? Open concept for separate dining room. Uh, OK. Open concept. Mm, no, wait. Separate dining room. Definitely a separate dining room. Okay. No, open concept, I think. I love you. Hi! Aw, oh, you shouldn't have. I'm sorry. These are for the other woman in my life, Mrs. Bell. Oh. Hey, Mallory. I got around. I have to go talk to Austin before shift ends. Austin? What happened to Jake? Me and Jake are just friends now. Try and keep up. Yeah. So it's the occasion. Well, I called the university to work out a payment schedule, but it turns out my tuition's been covered. Really? Mrs. Bell came through for you. Yeah. And I'm going to pay her back eventually, but for now, the flowers will have to do. All right. Well, you tell her I say hi, huh? I will. Okay. See ya. Bye. So, uh, what are you doing tomorrow? Nothing. If you consider yard work, hanging out with dozens of friends and babysitting, nothing. Because I got the day off work tomorrow, and I was wondering, do you want to hang out? Yes, I could squeeze you in. You know that guy I told you about, the one I met in London? Yeah. OK, well, I didn't exactly tell you the whole story. It was Prince Harry, wasn't it? <laughs> no, his name is Dylan, and he's from Toronto, but he's over there going to school. And I know I told you nothing happened, but... But something happened. No. Yes, I... I don't know. He sent me this text. I miss you. I can't stop thinking about you. Sreya, this is adorable. Adorable? It's... it's not adorable. It's crazy. I knew this guy all of two weeks. Well, you obviously left quite the impression. I already made a mistake with Chase. I don't want to make another one with a guy that doesn't even live in the country. So what are you going to do? I'm going to ignore the text. I need a milkshake. Sugarfoot, what are you doing out here all alone? Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. These are for Mrs. Bell. You must be pretty hungry, hey? 
Where's her mom? That was good. You want to watch another movie? Nah. You want some more popcorn? No, thanks. Pizza? Every kid likes pizza. You want to get a pizza? I'm full of popcorn. Oh, okay. Well, we could, um, play... We could play cards. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah? Okay. Want to play fish? Go fish? Does someone say go fish? I'm in. Okay. My mom works at a casino. I graduated from Go Fish when I stopped wearing diapers. Okay, big shooter. What do you want to play? Five card draw. Three draws, three. Aces are wild, double or nothing. I'm not sure how happy I am that your mother taught you how to play poker. Uh, she only taught me how to shuffle and deal. I learned how to play on TSN. What does it mean if I have four aces and a king? Thank you. And just so there is no argument later, this is on me. It is the least I can do to thank you for being such a great mentor to me while I was in New York. Mm. Please, don't call me a mentor. We both know that's just another word for old. Are you kidding me? You haven't aged a day since I saw you last. You're a liar, and I love you. But I didn't come all the way to Hudson so you could flatter me. The truth is, I came here because I want you back. Excuse me? You were the brightest intern we had at Strickland Cook. There's a good reason we hired you before you were done your senior year of college. Martin, I can't go back to New York. I'm not asking you to. I work for a new company now, Hubbard Financial. We've taken over a firm in Calgary, and I want you on our team. Read them and weep, old man. <laughs> nice. That is a very good hand. Yeah, I'm afraid you're all gonna have to wait till Halloween for your candy. Well, like I said, that is a good hand, but this... This is a great hand. Whoa! You totally just got school, Dad. That means you lose. Yeah, thanks for clarifying that. You are so cool, Jack. You hear that? I'm cool. Okay, let's play again. No, I can't play. I've got work to do. Not everybody gets to sit around and watch movies and play cards. Don't be disappointed, too. You keep the candy. Never had much of a sweet tooth. Hey, hey, Jack, Jack, wait up. That was amazing. We're just like one of those gunslinging cowboys who always wins the cards. Have you ever been in a bar fight? Have you ever ridden off into a sunset? I told you that I have done a few times. Have you ever killed a man? I don't think he's been brushed or exercised in weeks. Oh, it's not like Mrs. Bell just to leave him alone like that. I know. And when was the last time he slept outside alone? Okay, well, are you sure she wasn't home? Sometimes she doesn't hear the doorbell. I'm sure. After I found Sugarfoot, I sort of broke in. What? What was I supposed to do? The guy was starving. I had to get him some caramel rice cakes. Okay, well, Mrs. Bell has a niece, and I'm sure Lou has her number somewhere, so maybe she knows what's up. Okay. Don't worry, buddy. We're gonna find your mom, all right? <laughs> all right. Hey, buddy. Hey. Uh, your dad was just telling me about the trail ride. Sounds like quite the adventure. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. 
I was actually stopping by to see if you boys wanted to join me for dinner. My treat. Hey, sounds good. You want to go for dinner? Uh, yeah. Jack's going to teach me how to fly fish. Well, he can do that tomorrow. No. No. Hey, wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Come here. You know, you know, Janice is my good friend, so that was a bit rude. You should probably apologize to her. Stop calling her your friend. I saw you guys making out hardcore. No, it's gross. Okay, fine. It's gross. Get your stuff. We're going for dinner. No way. Hey, you say no to me one more time. You're going home to my place. No. Jack's going to teach me how to fly fish. I don't care what Jack says. He's not your father. Now get your stuff. Get in the truck. We're leaving. Sorry about that. Okay, uh, we'll just do dinner another night. How's she doing? She is out like a light. Good. Hey, how did your, uh, how did your coffee meeting go with, uh, what's his name there? Martin? Mm. It was good. He flew in from New York just to say hello, huh? No, it turns out he misses me and he desperately wants me back. What? When you told me that he was a good dresser, Lou, and that he collected orchids, you know, I assumed that he was... Peter, he offered me a job. He's, um, heading up the international division of a new company, Hubbard Financial. They're opening up an office in Calgary, and, uh, he wants me on the team. Hubbard Financial? Mm-hmm. What'd you say? I said no. I mean, I was flattered, but the timing is all wrong. And I can't imagine going back to work and leaving Katie. I couldn't do it. Mm. It sounds like you've made your mind up already. I have. <laughs> but it was nice to be wanted, I have to say. You know, back in New York, I was pretty ruthless. Yeah, I bet you were. I was. I had this plan. I was going to be in management by my mid-20s. Nothing was going to get in my way. I would have done it, too, except I came back here. Any regrets? No. Nope. I'm exactly where I want to be. Mm. I'm happy right here. Yeah, OK. Well, thanks for calling me back. That was Mrs. Bell's niece. What'd she say? Apparently, the neighbor was supposed to be taking care of Sugarfoot while Mrs. Bell was in Florida. Well, he didn't do a very good job. Well, she was only supposed to be there for a few weeks, but it turned into a few months. Is Mrs. Bell still in Florida? Not exactly. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. Do you know where uh, Mrs. Sally Bell is? Uh, she usually likes to sit in the garden. It's just back there. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Aren't these just beautiful? And we brought you some of Lou's cookies, too. And there's a jar of jam in there, your recipe, of course. Aren't you sweet? We would have come sooner, but we didn't know that. That's, that's my fault. I should have called. The past few months have been so hectic. Well, I thought you were in Florida. I was, for much longer than I expected. You see, I tripped over one of my sister's horrible garden gnomes, and I ended up in the hospital down there for weeks. It's awful. Well, I'm right as rain now. But, uh, let's face it, I'm not getting any younger. And I can't live alone in that house forever. I mean, 
What if I had another accident? Was it your idea to come here? My niece thought it was the right thing to do. She's been so good to me. I couldn't live with myself if I thought I was a burden on her, or anyone else for that matter. No. You're going to have to help me out with some of these cookies. Of course, if Sugarfoot were here, he'd have eaten them all already. Put a stop to that right now. <laughs> Shouldn't you be teaching your son how to fly fish? No, I gotta stay off my knee, doctor said. Too bad. Looks like Shane and Jack are getting really close. Yeah, what's with that? Usually you and Jack are like two peas in a pot. I guess he traded you in for a younger model. Actually, I'm pretty sure you're the one who's been traded in. Anyway, I have better things to do than hang around with you or Jack. Like what? For your information, I have a date. Hmm. Who's the latest victim? None of your business. Well, wish him luck. Gonna need it. Don't bend your wrist, member. Keep it locked. Okay. You should ask your dad to take you fishing down on the Bow River. He's a pretty darn good fly fisherman himself. Don't you tell him I said so. Yeah. Maybe you could take me. Well, I could, but wouldn't you rather spend some time with your dad? Something wrong? No. Yeah, I can tell. Something happened between you and him. OK, it's not my dad. It's his girlfriend. You know, she's always hanging around him, and the PDAs are out of control. What? The kissing. Just because he spends time with Janice doesn't mean he cares any less about you. Huh. Yeah, right. So tell me, how's my little Appaloosa doing? He's doing much better now that he's at Heartland. My neighbor's a decent man, but he's a terrible horse sitter. Thank you for taking Sugarfoot in. Oh, well, you don't have to thank me, Mrs. Bell. You're my honorary grandma, remember? I promised you I'd look after Sugarfoot. I haven't forgotten. Hey, how about after tea you come back to the ranch? I know Sugarfoot would love to see you. Really? Yeah. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Well, but my niece is coming by later this afternoon. She doesn't like me to leave the residence ever since the accident. She's uh, been such a worry ward. Well, then maybe another time, then. Yes. Another time. Oh. I do so miss my little sugar foot. Are you sure you're happy here, Mrs. Bell? My niece is a good heart. She just wants what's best for me. What do you want? What I want is, uh, is for you to stop worrying about me. She'll probably fire your busboy. He's doing a terrible job. Well, Austin took the day off, and all of my waitresses are either sick or on vacation, so of course two busloads of tourists decide to stop in for lunch. I wouldn't mind giving you a hand. Oh, really? You just hired the best-looking busboy Maggie's Diner has ever had. You're awesome. That 
one comes out of the first paycheck. So the bedroom be right here. Window facing the southwest. So every morning we wake up to that. What do you think? It's nice. It's nice. I like the view. But you don't like the design or, or no, what? I, I don't know. It's just, it's kind of hard to. Hard to visualize? Hard to visualize, yeah. That's what you said yesterday. Okay. Wait. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm I'm distracted. I I can't stop thinking about that job. Having second thoughts, aren't you? Am I crazy? No, not at all. In fact, I'm surprised you were so definite about it yesterday. I guess I just I can't wrap my head around leaving Katie. Well, maybe you won't have to. Not every day, anyway. Martin came to you. Remember that puts you in a very good position to negotiate. You mean like ask for a four-day work week? on a four-day weekend. He's also working from home, job sharing, and the sky's the limit, Lou. First rule of negotiation, if you don't ask... You don't get. That's right. Mm. What was that for? I'm just so glad I married you. So, back there, that's our bedroom. Could be. I'm starting to visualize it. Mm -hmm. Well, Mrs. Bell seemed like she was in good spirits. Yeah, I guess. You don't buy it, do you? No, I don't. Why would her niece put her in a home like that? She's probably just worried about her. I'd be lying if I said I never worried about Mrs. Bell. Maybe she did have that heart attack a few years ago, and I now know. the fall. I mean, at least at the retirement home, she's not all alone. But I can tell she doesn't want to be there. It's not that bad of a place. Amy, you saw her. Okay, she looked... I don't know, she looked different. The Mrs. Bell I know was always out doing something. Gardening, beekeeping. Yeah, bringing herbs to Heartland. Exactly. And shouldn't she be allowed to do that as long as she can? Well, maybe there's something that we can do to cheer her up. Yeah, yeah, sure. So you want to take him up that early? Yeah, okay. No, no. Oh, hey, yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go. I'll call you back. Okay. Bye bye. Hey, boys. How's the fishing? Oh, it's great. Jack says I'm a natural. Oh, you gotta see him. He's getting so good already. Well, I got some news today. Turns out Cisco's going to be running his first race in Edmonton next week. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, cool is right. You ever been to a real horse race? No, never. You want to go to Edmonton? Seriously? <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay, I'm going to make you an official member of Team Cisco. Okay, that means you have to feed, groom, and water the horse. You think you can handle that? <laughs> yeah, I can handle it. Okay, I'll call Janice. Janice is coming? Yeah, well, you can't go on the road with Team Cisco without a jockey. Why can't you just find one in Edmonton? It doesn't work like that. Will you be coming, Jack? Oh, no, I don't think so. Maybe I'll just stay with you. Well, I think you ought to go with your dad. It sounds like a ton of fun. Yeah, I guess. I'm gonna go watch TV. Yeah, you, you do that. He'll come around. Uh. Yeah, when? been trying to get to know you, and now you're throwing your girlfriend into the mix, so you gotta give him some time. Just a little something I whipped up for you. Happy birthday, Polly. <laughs> it's all right, sugar, but we're going to see your mommy. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Oh, well, this is just Mrs. Bell's pet. We were coming for a visit. I hope that's okay. No, no, that's not okay. Why not? He doesn't bite or anything. Plus, pets can be very therapeutic at retirement homes. Yeah, dogs may be, but that's a horse. Okay, I understand, but Sugarfoot is very well behaved. Sugarfoot! Stop him! Sugarfoot! Oh, Sugarfoot! My kid! 
horse in the world could resist a carrot cake. Well, one thing is for sure. Poor Polly won't soon forget her birthday party. Well, what girl doesn't dream about have a pony at her party, right? Yeah. An 85-year-old girl with a pen in a heap and a wheelchair. Is everybody all right? I think so. But you better take that animal home before somebody gets hurt. Okay. We should probably get going, Mrs. Bell. I'm really sorry about all the mess. Don't be. I'm not. It's the most fun I've had since I moved into this dreadful place. <laughs> no. You be good, Sugarfoot. Mind what Amy and Ty tell you? And don't even think about running away again, or no more caramel rice cakes for you. <laughs> good call on the snow cones. Yep. You know what the best part is? Delicious with no nutritional value? Nope. Blue tongue, see? <laughs> hey, I uh, heard your dad's new song on the radio yesterday. Oh, yeah, the local station plays it like 20 times a day. So embarrassing. That is pretty awesome. I mean, most mainstream country these days sounds so generic. But your dad actually has some real original stuff going on. I knew my dad had fans. I just never really met one before. <laughs> Thank you. He um, didn't have a chance to listen to my CD yet, did he? I don't know. But you, you gave it to him, right? Of course, he just hasn't said anything yeah, yet. Yeah, he is. That's okay. It's okay. I realize he's probably super busy. Yeah, he's on tour a lot. Have you ever been on his bus? Yeah, I guess. But hey, you know he's so cool. What? Do we snuck onto his bus together? How awesome would that be? Okay. Oh, wait. Hang on, hang on. Perfect timing. What size you were? Um, small, I guess. Yeah, small. So small, yeah. And do you have, uh, yeah, kid sizes? Okay, great. I'll take one of those, too. Medium. Okay, thanks. Bye. What was that about? Well, every good team needs a T-shirt with a logo. And what team would that be? Team Cisco. For when we go to Northlands. <laughs> oh, Tim, you do realize that we're talking about horse races here, not Little League? Well, Shane, Shane's getting really excited about this, you know, for when we go up to Edmonton. He's pumped. Wait, you told Shane he could come with us? Yeah, he's going to be Cisco's new groom. Why? You got a problem with that? Yeah, yeah, I kind of do. We're talking about Cisco's maiden race here, Tim, not family fun time. I need you focused. I am. I am focused. Shane's a good kid. He's not going to be in the way. Can't you just leave him here with Jack? No. Oh, no. Why not? It's one day. What does one day matter? <sighs> he's only here for the summer. I don't know when I'm going to see him again. So one day matters. It matters a hell of a lot. I'm sorry, Janice, but Shane is going to be a part of the deal. What if I don't like the deal? Then what are we doing? I'll work three days a week, and when I'm at home, no phone calls or emails. I leave work at the office. And this is what I'm asking. Well, you can take the girl out of New York. Welcome to Hubbard Financial. Oh, my God. Are you serious? <gasps> I should have asked for more money. I'm just kidding. Martin, I won't let you down. Oh, you better not. Oh. Jeez, have you been working out? Relax, Lou. You already got the job. Oh, sorry. I'll just... Is that your adorable family? Yes. It's my little Katie. 
And that's my husband, Peter. Oh, I didn't realize you were married to Peter Morris. Oh, you know Peter. It's uh, a bit awkward. I thought he would have mentioned it to you. Peter interviewed for the job a few weeks ago. I kept trying to change the subject, and Austin just kept bringing up my dad. Oh, maybe he just really likes country music. Don't humor me, Amy. I need the brutal, honest truth. Do you think Austin is just using me? Anyways, I don't know why I'm so upset. He's a jerk. Mallory. Hey. Hey. So, how'd it go? Good. Accepted all of my terms. Got the job. You got the job? That's fantastic. Congratulations. Except, uh, Martin told me something about you, and I'm not really sure how to bring it up. Honey, you should have told me you applied for the job at Hubbard Financial. I didn't think it was relevant. I wouldn't have accepted if... If what? You worried about my ego? Give me a little credit here. You know, Martin said you were a very strong contender. Okay, honey. No, you should hear this. All of the partners put you on their short list. Okay, yeah. But um, in the end, they just decided that your experience was too focused on the oil industry. You know what? It's just sounding a little patronizing, to be honest with you, okay? I'm not trying to be, honey. I just don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything, sweetheart. I'm proud of you. You got the job. It, it's fantastic, and you should take it. It's what's best for the family. And you know, the fact that I didn't get it and you did should not even be something we're discussing. You know? I mean, this is good news, right? We should be celebrating. Go out to dinner or something. That's it. We're done, thanks to you. Ah, uh, what are friends for, right? Listen, um, I just wanted to apologize to you for, you know, what happened at the bar. Don't worry about it, Caleb. Seriously, it's already forgotten. I know you're going through a tough time. Well, at least one good thing happened that night. I met this girl, Kelly, and she terrifies me, but that's got to be a good thing. <laughs> How do you do that? Do what? It'd move on so quickly. Aren't you afraid of getting your heart broken again? No. No. I guess I just don't think about that stuff, you know? Sometimes you just got to risk it. It's like riding a bull. You can't win if you don't put it all on the line. But when you hold on for eight seconds, it's the best feeling in the entire world. Did you want some fries? There's uh, leftovers in the kitchen. Yeah, sure, you read my mind. Coming right up. I know Mrs. Bell. She's not happy unless she's in her garden or driving her cart with Sugarfoot. Well, you're right, but I don't think there's much we can do about it. We gotta get her out of there. Even if it's just for a day, you know? Okay, and what do you propose? I mean, I doubt that nurse is even gonna let us back on the property, let alone drive off with Mrs. Bell. <sighs> All right, I parked my truck back there, just down the road. Okay, let's go. Are you sure this is gonna work? Yeah, just take that truck, okay? Well, well, well. No quiddish. Have you come to terrorize more helpless senior citizens? We just came by to say hi to Mrs. Bell. Make it quick. Good morning. Good morning. I didn't expect to see you both back so soon. <laughs> what a lovely surprise. Well, it's such a beautiful day. We thought that maybe you'd like to see the canola fields in bloom. Oh, I would love to. Nurse Stephen has his eye on me. Don't you worry about a thing. Yeah, we got it covered.
Boys, oh boys. What's all this? Welcome home, Mrs. Bell. The place could use for a little sprucing up. Late crop of strawberries isn't out of the question. Don't forget about the bees. I'm sure the hives have plenty of them. Here are your gloves, Mrs. Bell. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? There's work to be done. You heard the lady. Let's get to it. That was nice. I love you. I haven't seen much of you around the ranch lately. Well, I've been busy fighting off the president of my dad's fan club. It's a long story. I'll tell you about it later. That is, if you don't already have plans with Shane. You guys have a lot in common, huh? Well, he does like to fly fish. I'd figure I'd be pretty good at fly fishing if somebody gave me half a chance. I read on this blog that all fly fishermen worth their salt are using a blue wing all the fly this time of year. Not that I care or anything. Well, I'll take that under advisement. Maybe you should drop by the ranch tomorrow and we'll test out your blue wing olive fly theory. I probably have plans tomorrow. Well, of course. I know how busy your social calendar can get. I may have a few minutes. We'll see. Well, keep me posted. Don't worry. I will. Fine. Good. Things are really starting to come back to life, thanks to you. Well, it's nothing compared to all the things you've done for me, Mrs. Bell. For all of us. I know you're worried about being a burden, but you wouldn't be. Your niece is not the only family you have. And I hope you know that. And if you ever wanted to come back home, we'd all support you. And Sugarfoot. I, uh, I have a confession to make. I'm afraid I've been a bit of a coward. The reason I didn't call you sooner was I didn't want to have to give you the bad news. The bad news? With the extra cost of living at the retirement home, money's been pretty tight. I'm afraid I won't be able to pay for your tuition this year. But I thought you... I'm so sorry. No, no, don't be sorry. It, it's already taken care of. You're not just saying that, are you? No, no, I swear. I, um, I had some money saved up, so, uh, you don't have to worry about it. Good. <laughs> I'm so relieved to hear that. <sighs> Thank you. Let's go through it. It's nice right there. Hey, Jack, you didn't happen to have anything to do with paying my tuition, did you? <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. Well, I thought Mrs. Bell was taking care of that. So did I, but it wasn't her. Uh, is everything okay? Well, yeah, it's fine. I just, uh... I don't know. I should probably get Mrs. Bell back to the home, though. I'll see you guys later. Why do I feel like I'm about to be sent to the principal's office? Do you have a nice trip? It was lovely. Thank you. Well, I hope it was worth it. Because after what happened with that little horse of yours, this is the last straw. I have no choice but to recommend to administration that you pack your bags and leave. Well, that suits me perfectly then, because that is exactly what I was about to do. Could you come back tomorrow with your truck, Ty? I don't want to waste another second in this dreadful place. It's time for me to go home. <laughs> Let's blow this geriatric popsicle stand. All right. Take me home. So, you sure about this, Tim? I thought you were supposed to stay off of that knee. Nah, nah, I wouldn't.
wouldn't miss a day of fishing with you guys. Whoa! Is that Cisco? Look how big he is! Hello, gentlemen. He's awesome. Yes, he is. So, I was thinking since Shane's gonna be part of Team Cisco, he should probably start to get to know the horse. Really? So cool. How about you give him a brush? Can I? We'll go fishing some other time. Okay. Thought you weren't into the deal. Oh, I was being an idiot. But I'm no fool. I wasn't about to let a good deal pass me by. So how fast can this guy go? For 45 miles per hour. Is that fast? Oh, yeah, that's fast, buddy. <laughs> what is this? Well, I took a closer look at our floor plans, and this is where the kitchen would be. So I thought we should have lunch here, see if it's right for us. That's a great idea. Love it. It's lovely. So, what do you think? How does it feel? I think it feels good. Sorry, did, did you just make a decision? Was it? Yes. Did I... Yes, I did. Well, I'll drink to that. Here's to our new house. And to building our life together, one room at a time. Right. Are you sure you want to do this? I mean, it's not too late to change your mind. Like you said, sometimes you just have to take a risk. Yeah, we're flying halfway around the world to meet a guy you've only known for two weeks. That's a big risk. Oh, I'm terrified, but maybe it's a good thing. Hello, Austin. Hey, Mallory. Oh, I don't want to be a total lame, though. But you know you can't have outside food in the diner, right? Don't worry, I'm not staying. I just thought you might want to write a song about this. About what? This. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, Ty, you're never going to guess what Soraya is doing. Are you all right? Okay. Uh, I just got off the phone with the registrar, and I know who paid my tuition. It was Wade. Your stepdad. Don't call him that, okay? <laughs> 